Hi guys, so apparently it is International Coffee Day this week, so I thought that I would do a little coffee cocktail because we all love coffee and I know that I personally am very reliant on it, but what's even better is when you've got booze in your coffee. Uh, it's a good way to start a day. So we're gonna go with a little coffee tonic. So this was apparently popularized, not entirely sure where it came about, um, or if it was the guys in Sweden that came up with it first, but definitely kind of gained some traction in Sweden in the early 2000s, thanks to coffee roasters there. Uh, there's lots of different ways of doing it. Obviously, you can just do um, espresso and tonic or cold brew and tonic. But if you do feel like giving it a little kick, um, then I like to use some coffee liqueur in there and also a little splash of curacao for that nice juicy freshness that's going to get you going. So I'm using Grada, which is a local coffee liqueur. Obviously being Melbourne, we take our coffee very seriously here and these guys are Melbourne based. Uh, so really good quality kind of fresh coffee notes in this one and not too sweet. So I can go a full 30 mils in there. And then I'm just gonna put even more pep in my step. This is a little cold brew that we do make of the bar to use for espresso martinis and things. So I'm gonna go 30 mils of that. And then I like to add just a little bit of curacao, just got it in my little cheap bottle here, a little orange liqueur, and it just brings out some of the fruitier notes in the coffee. Obviously you can use a little splash of just sugar syrup if you'd prefer or leave it out, because um, obviously the, the liqueur, coffee liqueur that you're using will add some sweetness anyway. Just about 10 mils of that. Then I'm gonna add some ice. And we're gonna top up with some tonic. Uh, now often with gin and tonics and things, I prefer like a Mediterranean or a lighter style tonic. Uh, honestly for this, I like that little bit extra sugar and that little bit extra quinine kind of kick of bitterness that you get from a classic Indian tonic. So I'm keeping this pretty, pretty short and sharp in terms of the portion size, but obviously you can do it in a bigger um, cup with a bit more tonic if you prefer. And then we're just gonna go in with a little orange wedge to bring out all that juicy fruit flavor. And there we have our coffee tonic for International Coffee Day. If that doesn't put a pep in your steps, then I'm not sure what will. Uh, heaps of really lovely, bright, roasty coffee flavor, loads of fruit in there as well, nice and citrusy. That little bit of bitterness um, from the tonic coming through that just keeps it going for ages. Coffee tonic, so now you know. <laughs>